The fire ceremony as you see it now is a Vedic ritual. It pertains to the Vedic culture, therefore it belongs to the Hindu spirituality and the Vedic culture. But exactly as the sun salutation is not really yoga, but the sun salutation is a way of consecrating your devotion and energy and concentration to the sun. And it can also be used in yoga because when you do sun salutations with the mantras and with the proper concentration, then you actually connect to the energy of the sun. There is a whole science of offerings, of what can be offered and what should not be offered and all those things. And uh, the last point actually is very important because it brings us back to the motivation. The point is that the human being must first ask. So even prayer is like a Vedic fire. Prayer is a way to consecrate energy, but without using a pit, without using wood. You are just doing it through your chakras. So even prayer is a Vedic ritual. The Guru Puja is considered to be the one of the... I will be speaking when we uh, start uh, doing it before that, what we need to do. This is considered to be the most powerful puja because we are inviting during that puja all the gurus and the masters and the teachers who are carrying this knowledge forward. Karpura Gauram Karnavataram Sansara Saram Bhujgendra Haram Sadava Santam Hirdayara Vinde Bhavam Bhavani Sahitam Namami Arartakyam Samarpayami Shri Gurchan Kamlebhyo Namaha Achmaniyam samarpayami Shri Guru Chan Kamlebhyo Namaha Om Dhur Agne Vyanaya Swaha Om Dhur Bhuvaswaha Tatsavitur Vareyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi Dhyo Yona Prachodaya Swaha Aum Krim Krum Krim Pum The Vedic seers they had great genius because they said if you want to send something to the gods you ask fire to do it fire is like the elevator like i want to send something to the 10th floor of the building therefore that's why the fire was chosen you are getting tonight a lesson in alchemy metaphysics mysticism and a little bit magic as well